Hi, I'm Justin Madders, I'm leader of the Labour Group on Cheshire West and Chester Council and I'm here outside Chester Football Club's ground. Chester have celebrated their third successive promotion recently and uh, are a fantastic example of a fan-owned club doing well in difficult times. And just up the road in Manchester, another club has celebrated their 20th league title, Manchester United. But their players and many of their colleagues in the Premier League have also had reason to celebrate because they've just had a massive tax cut thanks to this coalition government. Players like Wayne Rooney, reputedly on... Uh, £250,000 a week have received a tax cut of £600,000 this year worth £12,000 a week. That's £12,000 a week extra in Wayne Rooney's pocket thanks to this government. Yaya Touri, Manchester City player over the road, has got a tax cut worth £9,500 a week to him. John Terry at Chelsea has got a tax cut worth £8,500 a week to him. Massive tax cuts for millionaires, footballers, bankers, chief executives at a time when ordinary working people are really struggling to keep up with the cost of living, finding their benefits cut, public sector pay freezes, year on year of uh, cuts in real terms to people's living uh, standards, uh, wages have just not kept up with living costs, unemployment is still a massive problem and of course this is at a time when corporations are also getting cuts in their taxes, those companies that decide that they want to pay taxes. I believe if this government is serious about cutting the deficit, they shouldn't be giving tax cuts to millionaires, footballers, chief executives, bankers. They should, in fact, be making sure there's more money in the economy, reversing the VAT cut, giving more people real incomes, real living wages, and actually fighting for a fairer society. If we want to strive to be a decent, civilised and equal society, money needs to trickle down to everyone and tax cuts to the very richest is not the way to do it. So if you feel angry about these things, if you feel that people are really struggling, if you feel that uh, it's just not right, if you hear stories like I do, of people going days without food, when we've got this council, this Tory council, charging the food bank 5,000 a year just for storage costs, if you think that's wrong, if you think there's something you can do about it, I would urge you to join me in the fight for a fairer society and to join Labour.